Hi, I'm Joe Ferrace. Welcome to Joe's Film Club, where we talk about movies, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4K videos, and all that kind of stuff for people who love and are passionate about film. Today's topic is about regions, specifically about the regions that Blu-rays are designed for and Blu-ray players are designed for. Because there are three regions, A, B, C. And a disc created for region B in England won't play on a region A player designed for North America. So let's take a look at the regions first. Region A consists of North and South America, Korea, Japan, Southeast Asia, including Hong Kong. It makes no sense that none of these are contiguous. Region B consists of Africa, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, the Middle East, and for whatever reason, Greenland. Region C consists of Russia, China, India, Central, and South Asia. So, a disc made for Region C will not play, theoretically anyway, on my Blu-ray player. Now, DVDs, they have regions as well. This is labeled as Region 9, which is interesting because there are only six DVD regions. But this is a terrific movie, and I just brought it up here to show you that this is something, if you like Asian action films with a little historical spin and lots of fun and creativity, this is a terrific movie. It's called Warriors of Heaven and Earth. You can purchase it on uh, Amazon. has a couple of copies available. I got this from uh, eBay, where I got it from Hong Kong, and the menus are all in Chinese. But nevertheless, I was able to make it work, and so can you. But it's Region 9, Region 6. Theoretically, you shouldn't play on any of my machines, but it did. Because many, many discs, including Blu-rays, may be labeled one way, but they're actually all regions. And you'll see that sometimes in an ad, especially on eBay. That's an all region disc, in which case they'll have both the A, B, and C logo. I'll toss up the uh, graphic for what that looks like. Now, interestingly enough, 4K discs like this one, Escape from New York, another terrific movie, John Carpenter's Escape from New York, uh, are region free. So if you get a um, 4K disc from England or Australia, for instance, it'll play in your 4K player. Now this particular one has a mark of region A on the back and that's because it's a two disc set. If you look inside, you see the 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc with the tiny octagon with the letter A, so it's a Region A Blu-ray player that should play just fine on my Blu-ray player and my 4K player. Why should you even care about regions and stuff like that? There are lots of boutique companies like Imprint in Australia and Arrow in England that create Region B discs that won't theoretically play on your Region A player, or will they? And that's really the big question. I really would like to get some of these discs, especially from Imprint, which makes some really nice packaging of American films, such as the Ray Harryhausen films. They have a couple of Ray Harryhausen box sets with lots of the Harryhausen films that are only Region B. So the only way to find out if your player will play multiple regions is to actually try. So how do you do that? Here's how I did it and we're going to share the experience. Went on to eBay and looked around for Region B discs. What I found was a guy who was selling a copy of Denis Villeneuve's uh, Arrival, which is a terrific movie. I love that movie. It was a 4K Blu-ray set, much like the Escape from New York set, except he had already pulled out the 4K for his own use and was selling the case and the Blu-ray, which is clearly labeled as Region B. So, here's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it together. We're going to get that disc, we're going to take it into the next room, we're going to stick it in the Blu-ray player, and see what happens. 
So let's go over there and check it out. Well, we're in the family room right now and we're getting ready to insert the, uh, the uh, disc from uh, region B for arrival and we're going to see what happens. The disc is loading and nothing seems to be happening. It's not even saying reject or tilt. It's just sitting there. It says no signal. So it's not getting any signal from the Blu-ray player. What does that all mean? Stay tuned, we'll talk about that next and what have we learned today. And so we're back. We're back in the studio and uh, what have we learned? Well, for one thing, we learned that the My Sony Blu-ray player, it's a 4K Blu-ray player. While it may play all regions of 4K disc, it will not play a region B Blu-ray. So that's one thing we learned. But we also learned that this disc can be pretty useful to me in the future going forward. I hope to pursue this whole idea of getting a region B player. And if you look online, especially if you look at like the uh, Best Buy, and you type in region free Blu-ray player, a couple of uh, players will pop up. So the question is, are they really region free or are they not? Sometimes they'll just pop up a bunch of 4Ks because those are region free for 4K. They may not be for Blu-rays. Armed with that disc, I can now go in the store and say, can I play this disc? And if it works, I'm all set. I'm a little uncomfortable about buying a region free player through online. What do you, it's a big clunky thing to have to return if it doesn't work, but at least I can test it. I couldn't do that before, I have to take their word for it. I order some uh, Blu-rays from Arrow or Imprint and then stick them in there and they play or they don't play. Who needs that kind of aggravation? But now I have a test disc. So while we may beat this horse of uh, region free players in a future edition of the Joe's Movie Club, it's not going to be the normal fare. What's coming up is perhaps look at some movies that I'm pretty excited about that are coming on both Blu-ray and 4K and look for some reviews of those here, such as the director's edition of Star Trek The Motion Picture in 4K. Also another 4K disc is War of the Worlds, which also includes a Blu-ray, a Region A Blu-ray, of When Worlds Collide one of my favorite movies. And there's an interesting story about those two movies that we'll tell you about in the review. And finally, there's a Blu-ray from Warner Archives of King Kong. And I'm very excited about that. That's one of my all-time favorite movies. So look for these and other kind of fun things coming up in future editions of Joe's Movie Club. And I want to thank you all for taking the time to look. See you real soon. Mm -hmm.